Mercer you a glitch that allows you to butcher the same pal infinitely. This means that you can farm as many pal souls, high quality pal oil, or any of the legendary schematics as you want. And this is able to be done on any pal that can be mounted. Top of that, you don't lose the pal if you do it right, so you can just keep doing it and there's no side effect to it. The first thing you're going to need for this is the meat cleaver that you unlock at level 12 for butchering pals. Then you just need the saddle of whatever you're trying to butcher infinitely. And before going on to the next step, I want to caution, you should probably not do this with pals that you want to keep. It is possible to mess it up and accidentally lose the pal, but if you do it correctly, you can farm the pal infinitely and you keep the pal. First thing that we want to do is head to somewhere that's ground level or sea level. The reason for this is because the pal and you are going to fall through the map, or it can happen at least. This glitch kind of breaks the pals. But they can't fall through if you're already at the bottom of the map. I'm going to use this spot right next to Grassy Behemoth Hills, and this is on the beach at 162 negative 470. But anywhere that's at ground or sea level will work. That's most of the spots. There's a beach or a large standing body of water. And once you're at sea level, you just want to spawn whatever pal it is you want to butcher. And you're going to open up your pal menu and butcher them. Right before the butcher is finished, so right about now, you're going to ride them. And then you'll get the materials, but the pal is still alive. This does take stamina from the pal, so the pal will start drowning if you do this over and over, but it'll last a very long time. And you can refresh this just by putting the pal in the pal box and it'll go back to normal. But now I can just butcher it again as long as I time that right. So we're going to wait after the second swing. One, two, and then mount. Then we're going to get off, and we're just going to repeat that again. One, two, out. And the timing's not too hard if you've done it a lot of times. I'll farm this jet rag in two. One, two, mount. One, two, mount. So I got the rocket launcher schematic for and the heat resistant pal metal armor schematic for in like two minutes of doing this, as well as a ton of ancient civilization parts. As you can see, I still have my jet rag in. It is stuck in the ground. If it's a flying mount, you won't be able to ascend because it's locked at the zero Z axis. This is just what happens to pals as part of getting butchered. And to fix this, we're just going to go back to a pal box. I'll show you what to do at the pal box. You basically just put them in and then take them back out. So we butchered our jet rag in, Necromus, and Mamarest. We can put those in the pal box. And then just put them back in our inventory. Now when we summon them, they'll be functioning as normal again. I would recommend practicing the timing on a pal that you don't care to lose. So any pal that you can mount and just have excess of. Some recommendations for the best pals to do this with. Any of the legendaries are really good because they all drop really valuable materials. If you want to get the large pal souls with this, then you can either use Necromus or Frost Alley on Knock. I would recommend using Necromus so you can also get pal metal ingots and the legendary heat resistant pal metal armor schematic. And if you want to get small pal souls, then you can use Merith with this method. You can find them through the northwest of the map in the high level snow region at nighttime. And I believe you can also find them in the dungeons in the snow region. I would definitely say do this before it gets patched and use it as much as you can. Because this is one of the most useful glitches by far. And that's it.